What's up, fellow Sambarians? My goodness, what a start to a new year. Uh, today, if you follow me on Instagram, we had a bit of a stressful morning. Uh, one of the uh, little patitos, the mallards, call him little golden guy, uh, couldn't find him. Um, my girlfriend got up pretty early and she let the ducks out and I was still sleeping because I'm a lazy bum. And I roll out of bed and I come down and every morning I like to come outside, <laughs> sip my coffee and just literally stand and hang out with my birds. Is it weird? Probably. But is it relaxing and a good start of the day? Absolutely. Just hanging out with the birds, drinking coffee. And it wasn't raining, so it was a good day to just kind of soak up some sun here in Washington while we had it this morning. And I'm like, we're missing the bird. And I'm looking around and so a little golden guy hangs out with Robin, which is the black and white duck. And Robin was hanging out all by himself. And usually those two are attached at the at the wing. <laughs> They're usually hanging out all the time. They're best buds. And Robin was just hanging out by himself. And I'm like, that's really weird. And I asked my girlfriend, you know, have you seen little golden guy? And she's like rushing out of the house to go to work. So she didn't really see him. She just saw him in the morning when she let him out. And so I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. So I'm walking around and I mean, our property's not huge, but apparently it's big enough to lose a bird on. And I'm looking and couldn't find him. Robin was just hanging out by himself, looking all sad. And I'm like, great. He definitely got taken by a hawk or something. So uh, I thought for sure he was gone. And I looked around forever. I'm listening to hear if I hear a quack in the distance, like maybe he freaked out and flew. Um, nothing. So I went inside, tried to get some work done. Pretty, 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 pretty bummed out. I mean, really bummed out. I, I love my birds. I love my ducks so much. Like I said, I like to just go out every morning, drink my coffee and hang out with my birds. <laughs> Have a little chat, whatever. And yeah, I was really bummed out. And then later on, I saw Robin run to the back, getting chased by another one of the ducks. And I look underneath the motorhome where the chickens were hanging out. And sure enough, there was a little golden guy hiding behind the tire. So he was hiding so good, Robin didn't even know where he was at. And now that they've been reunited, they're again attached at the wing. Let me see. I think they're right out here. So this is what I mean. They're always hanging out together. <laughs> little golden guy and Robin. So yeah, Robin was by himself and I thought for sure that was it. So anyways, let's get back to the video for today. Um, a while ago, I had been given some Speedo face uh, kilometers to miles per hour from David Dilmore, and they worked out great, and a bunch of people wanted them. I didn't sell them. I would just, I just handed or sent them out when someone asked. But, you know, I don't want to keep bugging the guy for the the gauge the faces so I decided to try to make my own so I actually took a speedometer all apart the cluster and created a gauge face so this is kind of the first round they're probably going to change over time I'm going to do some different patterns and I'm actually I have the fuel and the uh Temp gauge, we'll do those so we can have matching colors if you want red or blue or some cool Japanese pattern in the background. Again, this is the first one and I get really excited and I just probably jump the gun, but over time I'll add more. So right now I just have a red one and it says miles per hour. Got the OK Garage logo. But what I did was I left the shift points. So if you don't have a tachometer, in your sandbar, these are the factory shift points. I mean, this is pretty much red line. So you want to be shifting between before these points anyways. So right here, when you're in first gear, that's when you want to shift to second. And then when you're here, you want to shift to third gear. And that's your max at third gear, basically redlining. So I left the shift points on there. So if you need to see where your shift points are, but I sure hope that you know how to shift a sandbar before the shift points because that engine's going to be 
probably screaming at that point. So I did leave those on there. Um, hardest part was trying to just get the miles per hours lined up and I didn't put the kilometers on there. I mean, we don't really need it, but, uh, maybe that will be a second rendition later on where I put the kilometers back on there smaller, but right now we're just going to go with miles per hour. So this video is just going to be showing you that I have them and I'm going to start printing and doing custom colors and backgrounds and stuff right now i just have red and black um black with white lettering and then red with the black the black the black one basically looks like this just you know in miles per hour and i left it inside and i don't feel like going back inside but uh these are printed on an air release with a matte i did a matte finish because the factory plates are like a matte finish they're not glossy so it's not going to be shiny and it should look close to factory. Obviously, besides it not showing kilometers per hour anymore. But I thought I would make a video and show you how to do it. Um, since I wasted so much of your time already talking about stories. Um, it's real easy. This was actually the first time I've done it. I bought a, a cluster for the sandbar in Japan. It came over here with a busted... Um, cover so I was like ah this will be perfect to take apart it's already I mean just the clear parts busted I could obviously um, repurpose the back end of it because it's just fine and it's kind of cool to be able to see the inner workings of it there's your thing so I could uh I think it's like melted into the post so I could unmelt it and turn back time <laughs> just kidding that's probably illegal and maybe you go to jail for that stuff I don't have any idea I've never done it before, but there's your uh, temp gauge. So that thing does its little spinny deal. Anyways, let's uh, let's get to it. So this is only going to really fit the sandbars with the single speedometer cluster, not the tachometer version. But I did make two versions of this, one that has no trip. And then like my van, it's got a trip. So it's got the slot right here for the little trip numbers. So I'll have an option for that if yours has a trip. Um, but yeah, let me just kind of give you a breakdown of how to get it apart and how to do it. Okay, I've already had this thing apart, but I put it back together just to show. So if you're looking at it in your car, you have the black trim piece that goes around it the bezel if you have the wood grain option it's going to be the wood grain there are four screws holding that bezel in one two three four take that off now you have this exposed so basically the clear outer piece is held on by little pressure tabs so basically you just have to push push down and push it out it, mine is broken, so it's going to be a little bit snug on yours. It broke during shipping. I think an alternator. Bam! So you take that off, okay? I have these gauges off. They're right here. Like I said, I already had it apart. Um, I was just... I want to take these and trace these and make a cover for these so we have matching colors all around. So now we have just this black trim piece. So get yourself a nice set of JIS screwdrivers. You don't want to strip any of these things. You got two screws holding this piece on. So we'll take those two screws off. Hopefully you can see, yeah. It's in fisheye, so it might look a little bit funky. Okay, so again, this is the same deal. It's got the pressure pins or hookies. So just kind of push down pry out being very careful you don't want to break it and I'm sure you could probably glue it back together but here is this piece um, maybe you could paint this and do something cool while you got it off but also if you do end up removing your entire cluster which people do to replace the bulbs see it has the green little like condom looking thing on it you can take that off and run LEDs colored LEDs make it super super bright in case it's not bright enough for you when you're trying to see stuff, look at this thing at night, whatever. But these are your two, your two bulbs, and those just twist out. 
and you can take that little thing off, put an LED in there. I don't know what LED it is. Um, a buddy of mine did uh, LED options in his, and it looks pretty trick. It's very bright. So anyways, now that you have that off. Now, we have the speedometer exposed, which would be pretty cool to make custom little needles, too. I might have to talk to my buddy about that. Okay, so to get this off, I have a nice little trim piece tool. Looks like a little mini crowbar. Get that under the needle and pry up carefully and it will pop off. The So the trick with the Speedo is obviously it's just going to line up on zero where this thing resets is zero. This one, the temp and the fuel, uh, those are a little bit different. I didn't check where those were at when I pulled these off. So maybe make yourself like a mark where the needle was or something before you take these guys off because they do not sit. They do not sit right on the E. They sat a little bit low. So I'm going to look at one of my other sandbars and see where about the needle was. So when I put it back on, I'm not getting false readings of temperature and fuel. Because I don't think it was sitting right at the sea. I think it droops down lower than the sea. So before you go and take those needles off, maybe make yourself a mark so you can put the needle back on in the correct position. Or maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure those didn't line up. So you can't just put those on like you would line up with the zero because this one lines up with the zero. Okay, so now we got that off. Get yourself a nice little JIS screwdriver again. Get these little tiny screws out of there. because I made the sticker basically the hole just uh, big enough for the screw to go through. So when you put the screw back in, it basically covers it up and there's no, it's not really any black showing. I was trying to cover up as much as possible. So take the two screws out and then at that point, this should come off the two posts and then you're exposed to your thing. Maybe you want to roll back some numbers. Again, I don't know how to do that. Don't do it. You might go to jail or something like that. I think that's against the law. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, let's say you did buy one of these from me. It's going to come like this. And this is for the non-trip. There's an option for a trip. So you just peel this off. And it's air release vinyl, so it's real easy to uh, apply don't worry about sticking it and then being like, oh, shoot, it's in the wrong spot. You can just pull it up. I will have these little holes weeded. I just was too excited to weed them inside, so I ran out here. And there should be one more little hole right here. This will go on that, cover up that little hole post. Get that out. Okay. Okay. So now we have this. Basically what you want to do is you want to line it up with your uh, your little uh, miles per hour gauge. I mean your miles and the holes as best as possible. Again, that's not really that good. It's not going to hurt it if you peel it up and do it again. It's repositionable. Ay, ay, ay. I don't work well under pressure. Or it just might even be easier if you do it while it's sitting here. Yeah, there we go. Now I have both hands. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. And I basically made it to cover the entire thing. See, it goes over the little hole right there and should go to the pretty much the edge so you don't really see much of the speedo looks like I might have got some dirt in there so make sure you clean it before you do it again I'm just excited so okay so here's what I'm talking about you can just press it into the screw dimples perfect 
trying to do this and look at the camera at the same time. So now you can set it back in on its little posts. Put the screws back in because they should cover up, not that screwdriver. I just wanted to make it clean as possible so it will go over the screw, screw hole. And you could even hit it with a little bit of heat to really help it sit inside that dimple. Because it looks like I'm getting a little bit of twisting from the vinyl in the screw. So if you heat it into that hole, it will uh, sit better. But there you go. That is, uh, let's put the gauge back on. I mean the needle. Line it up with zero. I'll kind of just put it on there loosely. And then see where it, see if we're going to sit. Yeah, close enough for display, but kind of make sure that you get your needle back on there and dead nut zero. Otherwise, you're going to be off on speed in a little bit. But there you go. And then when you put this back on, it's going to look pretty dang sick. Fuck, get out of here. Especially if you uh, put some cool lights in there, make it glow. But yeah, I wanted it so you don't see any black in case you look at it from an angle. You know, it's all covered up. And like I said, I'll have an option for the trip one. And I would like to do backgrounds, maybe some cool Japanese stuff or, you know, cherry blossoms or whatever. But man, that looks so sick. And then I'll do one for the gas eventually. So you'll have matching red face gauges, or if you run the black and white one that looks like the factory one, then obviously it's going to match everything else. Um, blue, green, purple, pink, whatever. Do it all. It's going to be sick. And then maybe even, uh, maybe even do some like cool, I got some carbon fiber laminate, which would make it look like carbon fiber. Dang, I just thought of that. That sounds freaking sick. So I'll find some of that carbon fiber laminate. That would be pretty dope, but cool. That was it guys. Just wanted to show the latest little, I mean, I did not invent this. This has already been around, but I would like, I just wanted to do it a little bit better. And like I said, it's got your shift points in there still. One, two, three. Uh, I know 87 is really random, but it stops at 140. And 140 kilometers is a, is pretty close to 87 miles per hour. So maybe I'll change that 87 to slow down. <laughs> Engine might explode. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll have those up on my store um, pretty soon. And again, this is like uh, version one. Very simple. I hope to come up with some more stuff. And then maybe get some feedback from you guys of what you'd like to see. So I can keep adding more fun little stuff to the store. But again, thank you everyone for subscribing and liking my videos and commenting on my videos and helping me out last year. And let's kill it again in 2024. Um, you guys have all been great. Nothing but positive, positive vibes, good feedback. And yeah, it's just the sandbar and... Acti and the K community is just awesome. I mean, I can't complain. There's a few weirdos out there, but I mean, we are all a little bit weird because we do like these little mini Japanese trucks. Who am I kidding? But again, um, I'll have these up on okgarage.com at some point here. And be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let's blow this channel up again this year. Cool. Thanks again, guys. I will see you on the next one.